I think I've just looked red because we just got back from spring break and I'm still pretty red. I don't look that red here, but in the um, camera, I feel like I look so red. And I didn't even hardly put on any kind of makeup today or anything. Um, I had to be at the doctor this morning, like super early. So, um, I guess we'll get started and talk about doctor appointment and baby girl Cora. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she's going to be here soon. And I feel like I say that every video. But I really, really can't. It's so crazy. Um, I am officially 33 weeks and two days, I think, today. So, 33 weeks, two days. I'll show you how big she is. And I even had an ultrasound. Um, but I didn't get it. She is head down. And they said she is, like, pretty much ready to go. I feel like she could be here any day now and she could just like I'm starting to um, go to the doctor two times a week starting this week so on two I'm going Tuesdays and Fridays um, and went this morning Tuesdays I have to be there like super early a lot of mornings 8 8 30 something like that which is fine I literally was there today forever like almost a almost three hours though <laughs> Like really crazy. I have so many appointments, um, and I see so many doctors. And at the ultrasound, they did a exact exact a eye exam. Oh my goodness! Um, talked to the endo and two different ones, or like a um, specialist or whatever. And then it was longer talking to the doctor this time because we talked through like how I had Cammy early, so early, like literally pretty much around this time is when I had Cammy, and then just kind of what their thoughts were and going over the ultrasound. So do y'all want to guess how much you think she weighs? Ah, I can't believe she's already, um, she's already six pounds and five ounces is what they're guessing, maybe somewhere in there. Um, but I did notice when she did the ultrasound, like, she measured her arm length, her leg length, her belly, her head, and she said her belly was pretty big. She said it was a good size, and her head, her head and her belly are a good size right now. But when they measured her little arms and her legs, um, it was saying on the ultrasound, it was saying, like, 32 weeks on those. But on her, like, belly, it was like 34 weeks. So it was like two weeks off difference. So I think what they really do is, like, do measurements. So they can't really, like, be, like, weighing her. And my belly said so they can't, like, weigh her and be like, okay, she's six pounds of you or whatever. So they just do measurements. And then depending on the measurements and how big things are, that's how they tell the or guesstimate the weight. So, I think around 33 weeks, most babies are 5 pounds. Um, and so, with me having type 1 and diabetes, normally babies get bigger faster. And you have a lot bigger babies. Before, I had gestational with the girls. And I still had big babies. So, I had um, Kinsley was 8 pounds, 8, 4. Claire was eight, right at 8 pounds. Camry was so early, and she, well, Kinsley was three weeks early also. Um, Camry, she was six weeks early. Wait, I said Kinsley was three weeks early. Camry was six weeks early, and she was almost seven months. She was a, she was six something. So, it's pretty much where I am now. So, and she's about that. Um, or maybe like a little bit smaller, but... Um, she still is just like commenting on how adorable and cute she was and like um, we could And then also she said she does have like a little bit of hair 
which I think she could see just like because she could see the back of her hair. She's like, there's a tiny bit of hair you could see like sticking up, kind of floating, I guess. So, and I literally just asked the girls what they thought if she was gonna have hair look like them, what color her hair was going to be, if she was going to have a lot of hair or not. So she's just got like a little fuzz right now. So, And I doubt it's going to grow. I wouldn't think it's going to grow that much more. But I don't know. So it'll be funny. I really am so excited to find out what she's going to be like, who she's going to look like, who's like hair she's going to have. Because some of us have like, me and Kinsley have more wavy hair, but the little girls have more straight hair. So that's going to be a lot of fun. The best camping spring break trip it was so so much fun we were nervous the doctor was like just make sure you're aware of your surroundings um, especially with having ba a history of having babies early um just where the hospital is and surroundings and just taking stuff just in case thankfully and everything went great and did not have a baby at the beach or on vacation but I did take stuff just in case. And just what, I mean, I kind of need the air out right But I literally thought, I was like, she, I've had a baby at, at different, all three different hospitals, and they've all come different. I was like, watch her come. Like, so she, while we're at the beach, because she would come in a different hospital in like a totally different way. Um, and I'm curious how she is going to get here. My plan is natural birth and be back and all that so um hopefully that will go as planned and everything will go smoothly quickly and she'll get here safely so that's all i hope for come back in a second i'll let it charge for a minute but um i keep on like having pressure when i'm working at the salon and so i feel like before long i think i'm just gonna be working and she's gonna be like ready to get here so um, so crazy, but I do have pressure. I have to keep taking it slow. I have like a little bit of um pressure on the left side, like where her foot is. So it was really cool to get this ultrasound though to kind of see, like, um, because I have actually, I'll try to post it here. I think it's like a video picture I posted on Instagram, and um her booty like sticks way out on this side and so I had to ask her because there's a big ball right there so I was like either she's turned around and breached and that's her head because that's how Cameron was or it's her booty and I figured it was and that's what she said was her booty and then over here um where she kept seeing her foot her foot sticks out over here all the time and I remember Claire's foot sticking out all the time but she her foot stuck out on the right side all the time but Cora's foot sticks out on the left side. <laughs> and now. Hey, hey. What is that? What? 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 I'm gonna show y'all my belly, but I should have more like updates each week since I'm going to the doctor more often now. Um, look how big! Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm huge. I'm gonna turn all this up a little bit because I think you can see better. There she is, baby Cora. You're getting so big. I feel huge, so so huge. Um, I don't know if you can see here. But like when I got a shower last night, oh my gosh, there's so many like blue veins sticking out. Um, but yeah, her foot sticks out right here all the time. And then her little booty like will stick out really hard like right there. So crazy. Um, just nuts. Do I, does she look lower yet? Does she look really high? I don't think she's dropped yet. I think she was just saying like her head is just like in the right position down. Ah, it's, ah, 33 weeks. So I feel like any day now or maybe a couple more weeks. Oh yeah, me and the doctor talked about 
um, since having the other ones early, that probably like 37 weeks they would want to either induce me. I think she might come just come on her own before then, but if not, she's wanting to induce me probably around 37 weeks. Um, she said she would push it to 38 weeks if I was wanting to. Um, but I just think, I don't know, I just feel like she's going to come on her own, like, just working. Because I get so tired and get so, um, I start feeling a lot of pressure if I've, like, worked all day in the afternoons. And then when I, well, even just right after work or getting home, I'm just like, I need to rest. So, but then once I rest, I feel better. But I thought that's already happening. Um, also, TMI, um... <laughs> Or if you breastfed a lot, then this won't be too much. But just um, already have been like licking some, I guess you would say. <laughs> um, and I'm like, that is so crazy. That's already happening. Um, and then just like the hurting here and there. I guess it's like the Brax and the Hicks. And then like the pressure. So I'm like, all this already happening and having babies early. I think if I rest, she would wait a while but I think if I keep doing my normal like work routine and cleaning and stuff like that I haven't work, been working out because um after the hospital stay and stuff I've just been trying to be careful and rest more um to get her to at least this point at least I would love to get to at least a couple more weeks be 35 weeks I think anything anything after that I would be happy with so and I think that's about it but baby Claire we're so excited to see you soon so crazy um but I'll see you next week with some more updates